Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to split and divide a plant that we bought last week. It's still in its pot and we're hoping it's going to give us two or three extra plants for our garden which is going to give us great value for money. One of the recurring questions that John's students ask him is how to split and divide plants without damaging them. Well this practical is going to show you how to do that. It, John's going to take you through the steps. It's a different situation to our previous video on our channel of dividing agapanthus whereby that had become a massive clump. It was a plant in our garden and we needed to get the forks out to keep it happy and healthy and I have put the link to that in the YouTube cards above. The plant we're going to be splitting in today's practical is this gorgeous Hesperantha coccinia coral. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we hope we can help you develop your gardening skills by showing you some different propagation techniques, a bit of pest control, helping you grow some vegetables. If you like learning those things do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button, there's no charge and don't forget to push the all important notification bell, it just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Right, um, this time of the year in the autumn it's quite a good idea to go and look around garden centres because they often have a lot of what I would call overgrown plants, i.e. ones which uh, haven't sold, they're, they're looking a little bit um, past the best but they're still very very good plants and the other day I came across this one, this is Hesperantha, you might have known it as, as Schizostylus or Schizostylus um, but now it's called Hesperantha which is a much easier name to pronounce. But if you look at this, look how full it is. So what I can do now is quite easily break that up into several little bits. I'm going to keep some of it to enjoy the flowers. Good look at the face, it's beautiful, aren't they? And I should put some in the garden and I might take some indoors. Uh, might even have a bit to give friends as well. So what I'm going to do is just tip this out, be very careful not to damage the flowers. We generally wouldn't split things when they're in flower, but this time of year we might get away with it. And there we are, just push him out of the pot gently, there we are, nicely done. Put that to one side and have a look at this. Um, they're really well grown in there so I'm going to gently tweeze it, twe tweak it apart. It's coming beautifully, look at that, look at that, isn't that lovely? Having a look at it now I can see that this has got quite a bit of fungus there, that's not going to hurt, it'll soon, soon disappear. But this is breaking down quite nicely, I'm going to take it across there as well and there I've got a nice little plant. I've got two flower shoots on that one haven't I? Pull these dead pieces off. This might take a minute or two because they're uh, all growing in. Get nice and tidy. It is a very forgiving plant this, you can actually break it up at most times of the year. Um, now if I put this in it'll overwinter and it'll look lovely and it'll grow on well in the spring and it'll be, be the same as it was. Some of these shoots are coming off, that's not a problem. It's a dead bit, there's a weed. So there's my little plant. What I'm going to also do is find the other bits which fell off, these pieces here. Look, they've still got roots on, they've got flowers, so they'll be alright. There's another uh, flowering shoot. I'll just tuck that in the inside like that. Just put them all together into a flowering plant. So I'm going back to this one, I'm going to carry on again. Just pulling the dead bits off. There, that one's got some flowers on it. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, th those will go over quite a while. And the buds will probably be flying right up till Christmas. So we're going to keep taking those out. The dead bits and put that piece back. That's two plants I've got. Another two pieces. One's much bigger than all the rest, so we'll save that for uh, outside. There we are. So here I am with the last one. I'm just going to get some my secateurs to take these pieces off. A pair of scissors, they'll do even better. I can get a bit tighter into them. Taking off these dead pieces. It's only the dead bits. Tidy it up. Also, if you've got dead bits, that's the bit which will rot if you get any problems with winter rot. Um, it all comes on there. So just take the dead pieces off, tidy it up. And uh, there we are. A few more 
it's around here. There we are. That looks a lot better. Okay, so there's our, and that one's got flowers, and it's got buds. There's got five shoots coming on that one. <laughs> so we've done very well, haven't we, really? So now it's just a question of potting them up. I've got them in reasonable sized pots, as I said to you before. I'm not buying any new pots, but I'm using up old ones, so. Right, so here we are, we've tidied, tidied them up. Um, and now it's just a question of potting them up again. Uh, a little bit of compost at the bottom. As I said before, I, I, I'm not buying any more plastic pots, but the ones I've got I'm going to reuse. Um, in this case, it's just a question of, I, I haven't disturbed the roots more than, more than necessary. Pop them in there, that's a bit high that, so we just take it out a bit. Right, you you want the plant to be just a, just just below the level of the, of, 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 the, of, the, of the pot. And then we'll put a bit of compost around it, that will hold it in together. Firm it all in. You may need to stick it, no we don't need a stick, it's going to hold up of its own accord. And there we are. One nice little plant, so if I turn that around you can see the flower. It's pretty in it called coral apparently it's a rather nice one uh, oh the compost is, uh, is, is 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 my general purpose uh, compost as you know I don't like to use peat so this is this is a bit of um, uh, peat free compost with quite a lot of John Innes mixed in with it and a little bit of grit which is my sort of standard really standard one I use so in the pot they go and around again this one's got lots of little little side shoots coming up which will come up for next year There we are. Number two, that one's got three flowers on it as well. I think I might have a job to get that in the pot. Might have to take some of this old compost out. It won't, won't hurt to get rid of that. Especially with all this fungus on it. Let me get rid of some of that. And then it goes, yeah, made to measure that, isn't it? Look at it, perfect. Bit of compost around it. And there it goes. Not, not too firm, just enough to get round there. The watering will pull it all down as well. So there's number three, and that's a big one. We've got we've got one, two, got six flowers on that. <laughs> I think that will go inside somehow. And here's the last one. Yeah, firm them in. Bit of compost around it. There you are. Bit cheeky, but I've got five plants for the price of four plants for the price of one. One I, one I shall keep in a pot, one I shall plant out in the garden, and two I shall give to friends. So the only other thing to do now is to label them to see so they remember what they are, because uh, we remember them now they've got labels on, but later on we wonder what they are. We'll label them and just going to put them down, give them a, a, give them a good water. Um, and once they've been watered, I'm going to actually keep them indoors so they don't get too saturated. I want them to grow the roots away um, and uh, get established. Right, so here we are, just a little... Um, there you are, Juno, you can help as well. Just enough to let the water run down around them. It'll help to get some going. It'll also settle the soil around the roots. Um, yeah, two doses each. And now I shall leave those and uh, let them grow on. Almost got a bed of plants there, haven't you? Well, we do hope you enjoyed that and we do hope that you feel you don't need to be wary about splitting and dividing your plants. If you enjoyed that and would like to follow us, do push the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the all-important notification bell. Just lets you know whenever we upload a new video. We very much enjoyed having you here with us today in our Somerset Garden. Until next time.